Hi, and welcome back to Victory Range Hoods. Today, I'll be talking to you about the Victory Twister here. The Ranger DC next to me is the 30 inch model. Now, the Victory Twister is our top selling range hood. It is our most reliable range hood that we have right now. It's been in production for about three years or so, and we have not yet received any returns. There's no complaints whatsoever about this particular model. Now, this range hood you see in front of you, it is heavy duty stainless steel. It's got rotary knobs on the front, one for the lights, one for the motor itself. It's got a corrosion resistant motor inside, all metal, fully metal. The impeller blades are metal as well. There are no plastic parts whatsoever. It has got the four lights, two on the back, two on the front. They are LED, the ones you see right here. There is an option when you're purchasing this range hood. You can choose to upgrade to LED or you can choose to stay with the halogen lights. Now I'm going to show you what to expect when you open your box up the first time. First thing on the top, you will see this metal bracket. This will be for your chimney cover, so do not throw that away. Make sure you keep that somewhere safe. We've got very thick styrofoam on top. There's lots of protection in this box. Next thing you'll see are these chimney covers. Now the chimney covers on the top, they will be covered in white. This is protective tape. You will have to remove that once you install your range hood. And inside here, there will be a transition piece with some screws as well in all other parts. And then what's left is your range hood and some filters in there. When you take this out and take this one out, you will see these are your stainless steel filters in this box here. And you've got your range hood as well. That's everything that comes in your box. Make sure you inspect everything before installing your range hood. Now, if we take a closer look at the range hood, we've got stainless steel filters at the front here. There are two for the 30 inch model. Some of the bigger range hoods will have more than two filters. There will be an extra one in the middle if it's a bigger size. This unit comes in 30, 36, 42, 48 as well. Now you've got the stainless steel filters that I mentioned and on the back there is a grease trap as well. Now I will show you quickly how to take those filters out, how to take the grease trap out and then how to put them back together. Once you take one filter out, you can see the motor inside here. Two filters and then the grease trap is just in the back. That's your grease trap right there. Now to put the filters back in, you'll have to put the grease trap first and then the filters. So it just slides in and then falls into that grease trap. Now all of those filters that you see here, they can be put in the dishwasher. If you have enough room for the grease trap as well, you can put that in the dishwasher or you can just simply rinse it. When exhausting the Victory Twister, you have a few options. You can either duct with a six inch duct transition like the one included here, or you can choose to use the eight inch transition that you can purchase as well through our website when you're ordering your range hood. Now, depending on which CFM level you're looking for and the type of range you're looking at, you will want to have either eight inch or six inch. If you're looking for quieter operation and more suction, better performance, definitely go with the eight inch duct transition. When you're using the six inch duct transition, there are some holes here for installation on the back. When you put the eight inch, you'll have to use the outer holes because the inner holes will be blocked by this transition piece. You can also choose to do a top vent or a back vent. Now what a top vent means, that's usually what's standard, what most people go with, it means your duct size comes out at the top of the range hood. So you can either go up and exhaust out through the roof, or you can go up and turn and go out a wall. You can just, most people, what they'll do if it's an exterior wall, they'll just put one elbow and go directly out the wall. Now, the back vent option is usually used only for special cases. If you have a low ceiling, if you don't have enough room to turn on the top for whichever reason, you will need to use the back vent option and go directly out from the back of the range hood. 
The back vent option is something you'll have to choose when you place your order. If by any chance you do realize later on that you want to switch it, please give us a call and we can help you out. Most times you will need additional parts or an extra wiring harness, something different because the wires that come with the top vent are different than the wires that come with the back vent. This is something that we prefer to do in the warehouse, so please do make sure that you're choosing the right option when you're ordering. The back venting option is what you see right here. So the actual exhaust is on the back of the fan directly out the back and that transition piece whether it's six inch or eight inch on the back that entire piece has to go inside of the wall so keep that in mind when you're choosing your options we recommend going with the eight inch if you're doing the back vent because it is a shallower transition piece so not as much has to go in the wall you have a little more room to play with we're going to take a closer look now at the rotary knobs we've got the knobs for the lights and if you turn this clockwise it turns on the lights and after the lights are on you can dim those both the LED and the halogen option will be dimmable. Now you've got the one for the motor on the right here and you've got four speeds. First speed, you can sort of maybe hear a little bit of the range hood running. And then second speed, third and fourth. Now this is the max speed. You've got 750 CFM with an eight inch duct size and 600 CFM with a six inch duct size. And we'll go back to three, two, and back on the first speed. First speed is very low noise levels. It's about 0 0.8 zones. As you can see, this is the motor inside the range hood. The Victory Twister's motor is all metal, full metal construction. You've got the fiberglass sleeve inside for the wires. Everything is tucked away. There are no loose wires just laying around. As you can see, it's a very clean looking on the inside and it is certified for use in Canada and the United States. There's no circuit board, there's no fancy electronics or anything like that. It is one of the most reliable ranges that you could find out there today. The standard chimney covers that come with the Victory Twister are for eight to nine foot ceilings. If you have something that's higher than nine feet, if you have a 10 foot ceiling, 12 foot ceiling, we do have extensions that we offer for an additional cost. If your ceiling is lower than the eight feet, if it's about seven, seven and a half, anything lower than eight, you will probably require a custom cut. And we do also offer those services as well. If you have any questions, you can just feel free to send us an email or give us a phone call. The Victory Twister has a bit of an advantage over other ranges on the market because it is 22 inches deep. That's deeper than most ranges that you'll find out there. The deeper the range it is, the more coverage you'll have and the more efficient your range it will be as well. Let's talk a little bit about the lights on this range hood. These are GU10 120 volt light bulbs. They come in halogen or LED. The LED is an optional upgrade and the ones you see on the range hood here are the LED option. You've got four lights, two on the front, two on the back. The largest size is like 42, 48. They will have six rather than four. When you're plugging in this range hood, it'll require a 110 volt power outlet and it does come with a standard North American plug and you've got about two, three feet of wire here. The standard chimney covers that come with this range hood are for eight to nine foot ceilings and they are adjustable. So you've got one that fits inside the other one. Now there are some holes at the bottom of this where you can screw into the range hood so you can secure it and those screws will be included in the package when you purchase your range hood. Now if you have a lower ceiling or a higher ceiling you will need to make some adjustments for a low ceiling we do offer some custom cutting services depending on how many cuts you need and what kind of cut if it's a angle cut or a straight cut the price will vary. Thanks for watching our video. We hope it was helpful. If you have any questions at all, you wanted to place an order, we can be reached by email or by phone. You can either contact our sales team if you have questions about an order you want to place or an order that you have placed, or you can contact our technical support team if you have any technical questions and need assistance with installation or anything like that. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.